Hello and welcome to Grebel Forcia Watches and Wonders 2021. Coming to you live from our atelier here in La Chaux-de-Fonds, Switzerland. For those who don't know me, my name is Michel. I'm Head of Marketing and Communications for Grebel Forcia. And today it will be my honor and my pleasure to show you not only what we've been working on for the past couple of months, but also what to expect from Grebel Forcia in the future. Now I'm sure you've all received the press kit for the GMT Sport and uh, most of you are probably already familiar with this creation. So instead of telling you what you already know, we figured we'd put together a special presentation to show you what this fantastic timepiece is really made of. Follow me. presentation of what I think is one of the most exciting new watches in our collection. Of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to use the Q&A feature and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. We're close to the town of La Chaux-de-Fonds where Robert Grable and Stephen Forsey decided to take root and take watchmaking to a whole nother level some 17 years ago. They refused to believe that everything had already been invented in watchmaking and they were determined to prove their conviction with seven fundamental inventions, each contributing to the improvement of chronometric performance and to the history of watchmaking in a significant way. At the same time, Gribble Forcey brought back a level of hand finishing not seen for two centuries and surpassed even the level of the past masters. The extreme attention to detail and fun craftsmanship can be observed on every level and through each step of creation. So now, 17 years and 30 unique calibers later, Robert and Steven decided that they were going to prepare the brand for the future. Robert assumed the position of chairman of the board and nominated Antonio Coche to the position of CEO and executive board member. And in just a few months, Robert and Antonio have defined a clear vision for the brand's future, which we'll share with you here for the very first time in just a couple of minutes. But first, let's talk about the GMT. The original GMT was first presented in 2011, and it completely changed the way we think about multi-time zone watches. The most eye-catching aspect, of course, being the large titanium globe, which rotates in real time, acts as a day-night indication, and from which you can instantly tell the time everywhere around the world. The GMT then came in a few other versions, but also in two other configurations, with the GMT Earth providing an even more complete and transparent view of our planet and the GMT Quadruple Tourbillon, bringing the two mechanisms even closer together. Now, with the GMT Sport, we've managed to build a very rare, highly complicated, impeccably finished Grable Force timepiece that's also able to accommodate a much bolder lifestyle. So here, on my wrist, right now, the new GMT Sport. With the new bezel, new finishes, and the first ever Grable Force timepiece with a metal bracelet, the GMT Sport is more contemporary, more ergonomic, and quite frankly, more exciting than ever. So let's start with the bracelet. Made of grade five titanium, this three row metal bracelet weighs in at just over 60 grams. So it's very light and very strong. It's also equipped with a quick adjustment system to provide the few millimeters of play that will allow you to tailor fit it to your wrist. Designed specifically for this timepiece, the bracelet is integrated and profiled so as to extend the convex shape drawn by the case and bezel. With three different variations of hand finishing distributed over the two side links and the central link, there's a strong aesthetic continuity between the case and the bracelet, and it really completely changes the character of this piece. What also contributes to the renewed appearance is, of course, the bezel. Instead of engraving our key values on it, which we've done on previous GMT Sport models, we went for a hand finished horizontal straight graining on top with soft hand polished sides. And this really opens up the dial so we can enjoy the movement even more than before. The movement itself is then frosted and spotted with polished beveling and countersinks and straight grain flanks. Now this fantastic blue finish on the bridges which just works extremely well. The suspended arch bridge which holds the gear train is now open worked as is the tourbillon bridge. Again, to really highlight that three dimensional movement architecture. So then of course we have the exceptional time display that the GMT provides. Here with the large rotating globe acting as a day-night indication with nighttime towards a dark backdrop and daytime towards the light backdrop. So the time across the world can actually be determined just by projecting from any given point down onto the sapphire ring surrounding the globe. Of course, the case backside then provides an even more precise indication of the time in 24 cities across 24 time zones, including summer and winter time. 
Then we have our second Tanzan indication with the GNT hand here, and this can be ingested with the pusher on the case band. Small seconds just above, then our Tourbillon 24 seconds and chronometric power reserve of 72 hours. And finally, we have a central hours and minutes indication thanks to the arched titanium bridge extending high above the movement. So the hands actually needed to be curved so that they wouldn't touch the sapphire crystal. Of course, all gribbles are made to be worn, but the GMT Sport really takes it to a whole nother level. Let me switch to my helmet cam and show you what I mean. Welcome back and I hope you enjoyed our little presentation of the GMT Sport because this is just a glimpse of what we have in store for you in the years to come. We all know Grable Force has the ultra creative independent brand with an unparalleled level of hand finishing, attention to detail and excellence in every aspect of creation. But despite of everything that had been built and despite the huge effort, passion and rigor put into each and every project, there was much more progress still to be made, notably in terms of structure, organization, management, communication, distribution, logistics and an overall clear vision for the future. So after almost 20 years, it was time to establish a path towards the next step of the brand's maturity. And this is exactly why Robert Grable nominated Antonio Calcio to the position of CEO. And for the past couple of months, Robert and Antonio have been working hard and have already defined a clear product strategy, distribution strategy, and communication strategy. So today, allow me to present to you for the very first time our product strategy to be implemented in 2022. We're gonna be working with three pillars, the first of which we're calling birth. This pillar includes our ultra-rare high-end pieces such as the Grand Sonnery, the QPA Equation, the GMT Quadruple Tourbillon, and Handmade One. This is our traditional offer for highly specialized expert collectors. This offer will remain intact, and if you thought that these kinds of pieces couldn't be rarer than they already are, well, they're gonna be even rarer than before. We have the capacity and the know-how to build eight Grand Sonneries uh, per year, but this doesn't necessarily mean that we should. It took 11 years to develop and it's one of our most significant pieces, so it really should be treated as such. So from now on, we'll make no more than three unique pieces per year out of respect for the product and out of interest to focus on new projects. But parallel to this, we're working non-stop on a completely new and complementary pillar that we're calling growth. With absolutely zero compromise on global force equality standards, this offer in the 200 to 350,000 franc range will have a single common denominator with a strong identity, a very powerful visual impact, and a contemporary and very engaging global force design. With four launches planned for next year, it's a major evolution that will enable us to not only reach out to a broader customer base, but also to firmly position the brand once and for all in a league of its own. And then lastly, uh, we're working on a third pillar, which we're calling longevity. This pillar consists of actions to curate the collection, offering significant reinterpretations of our unique calibers. Take, for example, the QPI Equation. With its mechanical computer, it's one of our most complicated pieces, and that's really saying something. And it's the only perpetual calendar on the market today, which allows for the setting of 15 different functions and indications with just a bidirectional crown and pusher. But why stop there? Why not give it the attention that it deserves? Why not let it live three or four different lives in different configurations for different clients with different needs? Why not make it significantly more wearable by reducing the height of the movement? So this is really what longevity is all about. It's to harness and capitalize on the unique expertise of the Grable Forcey team to offer the best product we possibly can. 
So today, I'm extremely proud to share a glimpse of what you can expect from Global Force in the future. We call it the architecture. Uh, I'm very sorry, but I think we're running out of time for this right now. Um, I'm sorry, I've just been informed that we're out of time, unfortunately, so we better wrap things up. Um, thank you all very much for joining us today, even if it's only in this digital format. I hope you're keeping safe and in good spirits during this pandemic, and I hope we've been able to provide some fresh air for you today with our presentation. I can't wait to see you all again soon. Thank you and goodbye.